I have 100% stopped trying to figure out how this franchise is going to get bigger and bigger. It has far exceeded my own expectations, um, and I definitely am very blessed to be a part of it. And I'm just as excited as all the fans to see what comes next. It's as simple as that. I'm loving the ride. If people thought Luke Evans' character was dangerous in Fast 6, they have another thing coming for him, man. Jason Statham in Fast 7, the word dangerous doesn't even apply. I don't think there's a word in the, in the, in the dictionary for how dangerous Fast 7 is going to be. And then, for, like, how the hell, where do we go from there? I honestly am so entertained and so amused and just so taken aback at how we continue to top what, you, what we felt the pinnacle was. We are stretching the limitations of not only this franchise, but of Hollywood and movies, period. We're expecting this nerd, you know, maybe with, with the glasses and just the stereotypical look of what a nerd is supposed to look like. And then there's this beautiful young lady. And all of a sudden, myself and Tyrese's character, Roman, we both have crushes and we're kind of fighting for her affection and love. Tez gets to finally, you know, uh, unleash some of the fury and let everybody know that he also knows some great martial arts. And I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. So I'm, I'm happy to get a part of the action. And again, this is, leads down a road where you never know what can happen next. We go to Abu Dhabi because the God's eye is located in Abu Dhabi. There's a guy that, um, you know, Ramsey's, Ramsey gave it to in order to keep it safe and protected and we have to go there, and that, that becomes very interesting also because this is a very wealthy man, and you get to see what a wealthy man would do to protect certain things.